I'm Melanie, Director of Communications for the American Cancer Society, and you're watching the East Daily Download. I like it. That's great. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. I'm Anissa Sakilai with the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. Welcome to the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. That's right. This is the East Daily Download. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. We are back today with some more pink outfits from Mark. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's show him that pink outfit. Here it is. Out, out on camera. Come out onto camera. Oh. Facing boy. this way. This way. No, this way. This way. I feel like I need to do this. Hold on. Amp it up. Amp it up. Yeah, there it woo -woo. is. Woo-woo! Woo-woo! Th this way. Th this way. You know, I don't have a pink bow tie. I did see one at the th store, but th I didn't buy it. This way. Oh, hello! There you go! So, um... Nice pink tie today. Holiday pink tie with his little pattern on it. That's four in a row. It Something. is. You're getting there. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I've got for tomorrow. I have something. Don't spoil it. We'll see um, tomorrow what that. I'm is. actually trying to remember. I can't. I. Well, you better have something because you got to wear pink every single day, the month of October, for real men wear pink. Right, 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 right. I'm just. What is tomorrow? While Mark tries to figure this out, we're gonna let you check out this first story. We'll be back. New Look Bouncing Party is one of many businesses that have been impacted by COVID-19. They had to shut down their storefront during different phases of reopening in North Carolina. When it first happened, my world was like turned upside down. Sheila Leggett and her husband own multiple businesses with New Look. When the Bouncing Party location had to close because of COVID, they figured they had a lot to fall back on. So when it came and said, okay, the bouncy is gonna shut down. I'm like, that's fine. Cause you know, I'm trusting in God, but then they hit my salon. And then I'm like, whoo, then I got a little nervous and then it hit the mobile detailing. Who? and then I was like, you know something? The Lord had to strip everything from me in order for me to just give him my total trust and put everything in his hands. They found ways to get creative while serving their customers and putting everyone's safety first. We wore masks to protect ourselves from our customers and make sure, um, first of all, that we made sure that our customers were safe. We were able to do the outdoor rentals. We can bring them to your house and you can just do it for you and your family. When Sheila heard that students wouldn't be able to walk across the stage for graduation, she reinvented her business yet again. My son just graduated last year. And the only thing I've been thinking about from four up until 18 was going to his graduation. The news was a huge blow to kids, but Sheila says graduation ceremonies aren't just about the students. So to have that rip from you as a parent and all the hard work and all you put in, you know, getting your kids, you know, in school and getting them through school, keeping them um, well-rounded, and that's the only thing that they're looking for and the parents are looking for. Sheila gave more than 25 students and their families a platform to celebrate the huge accomplishment of graduation. Through it all, she says she has this community to thank. I don't care what anybody has to say about Greenville, North Carolina. I love my community. They have poured back into our business for so long. I tell people we started out with from ground up and they helped us so much. Um, if it, and I tell people, they say your business, I say no, this business is a community business because if it was not for the community, we would not be where we are today.
Hey, welcome back to the East Daily Download. Hope your day and yours are off to a good start. Yours is off to a great start because you're... I mean... Know, yeah, I mean, got a little mascot here, a little pink mascot. This came from my mother-in-law. And um, yeah, I don't... It's so I think cute. It's, I think it's like a little bunny or something. It looks like a bunny rabbit to kind me. Kind of, yeah. It's so, very pink, so, so it matches our theme. It just it theme. Fit. It fits. It does, it fits. That's why it's sitting here. Um, so we're talking about real men wear pink throughout the course of the month. And uh, there's a website you can go to to learn more about it, to get involved. There's ways to participate. They have all of this on the site here. You can nominate a candidate to do this. Kind of like, like I did with you, like you, right? Did, you know, right? You, did. you can donate. That's pretty self-evident. You, you know, that's self-explanatory. And volunteer. You can put your passion to work as a real men wear pink volunteer. So there's there all go. kinds of ways that you can help. And it talks about giving, matching gifts. I mean, there's how you can become a sponsor. So there's all kinds of good information there that you can check out. Yes. Please check out that website. It's right here. It's so Real Men Wear Pink, the American Cancer Society, it's all really important. And they need your help and support. And we're here this month trying to get you involved, whether you yes. know somebody, whether you are the person. If you're, if you're sitting at home right now or on the app or WNCT.com under the download tab and you're watching the show and say, hey, I want to be involved with Real Men Wear Pink. Not donate too, your money, not donate too late. your time. Not too late. You can still do it. And you can join me and others such as myself who are wearing pink all month long. The, okay. the socks, the ties, the shirts. You I know mean, what I need? I need a headband. I need like a, or a, hat, a Cobra maybe? Kai headband. Cobra Kai. Anyway, that's a whole other. That's a whole, that's other, a whole show. other thing. It's a whole other show. Anyway, uh, what should we do? Oh, we should probably watch a story now, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. Let's do that. Now downloading conversations with. I think you mentioned earlier, you know, the, the shortfall financially throughout the course of the year to the pandemic. So. You, you normally have a series of events. You have a relay for lives that are in the springtime. Obviously, most of those were canceled or postponed. I know that you said that the Bertie County, when we talked offline, had managed to do something and continue to raise funds. So how does that affect what you're able to do at the local level when those events that are really critical to running an operation do get postponed or canceled? It impacts everything. So I will talk briefly. We are trying to do everything we can. We can't gather in large groups. We know that it's not safe. It's, it's not legal. We are going to do everything we can to keep our population safe. So we are thinking outside of the box. We are doing everything we can to reach out to people virtually to remind them that cancer hasn't stopped. So neither have we, that the fight continues. But then there are also things that you can get involved in locally and Benita can share a little more about that. So. Um, more so locally, we, like in Bercy County, we did their drive through relay, and so it was amazing. And we had survivors come, and so, of course, everyone was in a parade-style um, line, and we had the um, the luminarias lined up on the track, and so everybody was able to drive around and look at those. We had um, an arch so that every car that came through could stop, and we took their picture, so it's like a photo shoot for that. Um, we gave things to the survivors. And then, of course, they also had um, like a presentation. So it was everything was great. There was hand sanitizer, mask, everything that you could imagine that needed to be there was there. Um, but I love the fact that um, it rained. It felt like a true relay. <laughs> and, um, you know, everyone showed showed up and showed out. And I thought it was amazing. Um, they collected over six thousand dollars on site. Wow. Um, so it was really nice just to be able to to do that. The, the entire team from ACS came out there to help out um, because, you know, we're so used to everything happening in April, May, June-ish to nothing um, at all. We, we weren't able to host any of our um, in-person relay events because the very first one would have had to have been April. No, it would have been the first weekend of March. So we couldn't do anything this year. I mean, so it was really nice to have everyone just drive through that we can, you know, say hi and, and go go that route. But it was amazing just to have people there. So we're seeing those little pop-ups around um, Eastern North Carolina. So everyone is really at this point just trying to figure out what can they do to still keep their relayers engaged, but they're still also making sure that the mission is a focus. 
If you're a parent who's providing an essential service and need childcare options, call our hotline today at 1-888-600-1685. We'll help you find the childcare you need. Brought to you by the Martin Pitt Partnership for Children. Hey, Lauren. Ah, yes. Do you know what I'm doing right now? Tell me. Well, as it turns out, I'm on Facebook. Oh. Do you know Facebook are you checking out? It's interesting you ask that. I'm checking out Real Men Wear Pink Central and Eastern NC. Yeah. And you can also okay. check out cancer.org, the overall website. Yes. But if you go to Real Men Wear Pink Central and Eastern North Carolina, it has all kinds of information, resources, phone oh. numbers, um, nice. like there's tons of stuff here. So oh, it's wow. a great resource for you. And oh, they had a live thing here they did. And there's a whole. That's interesting. It's interesting. They've got a lot of information here. So. Check that out on the Facebook. No, it's not the Facebook, is it? It's Facebook. It's just you Facebook. You know, I'm aged out of Facebook. It's, yeah. It's only <laughs> older people that say the Facebook. The Facebook. I was there in the beginning, you know. Way back at the beginning when me and Zuck were hanging. No, no that's not true. Anyway, uh, so cancer.org is the mothership as far as the websites go where you can get all the information about everything. Donations, volunteering, local information, very important crucial website so again times are tough if you don't have the money the resources to donate that's fine volunteer if, exactly you can donate your time when they allow that again that's yes. an important key yes. here with covid restrictions but there will come a day and there will come a time where that will be a thing again that we can do we it's can interact true. with we'll people we'll be able to hang out yeah. interact it'll be great go to events all of all events. of events what are, what well, uh, events what's that you mean like the what? real uh, making strides <laughs> against breast cancer which is a yes. virtual event this year on october 31st right if you saw yesterday we, we right. had our costumes on we were uh, doing that. We were, Mark won that costume contest between the two well, of us, I mean, it for wasn't sure. A contest. It was well, just we were just we we're putting ideas out into the atmosphere, and also with making strides against breast cancer locally. Eastern Radiologist Breast Imaging is going to be the sponsor. So thank them for all the work they're doing, helping out with that great event. Uh, and you know what else is great? This next story. Boom! It was a tragedy Americans watched unfold on live TV. The Netflix docuseries Challenger The Final Flight takes a look at the 1986 space shuttle disaster. Three, two, one. How could they let this happen? The four part series examines the events surrounding the catastrophe and the crew, which included Krista McCulloch, who was supposed to be the first teacher in space. Challenger, the final flight, is out on Netflix today. CBS All Access is getting a new look and a new name. Viacom CBS announced the streaming service will be rebranded Paramount Plus starting next year. It will also feature new original content, including The Offer, which centers around the making of The Godfather. Paramount Plus will stream shows from CBS and networks like BET. X-Wing Fighters, a mysterious hooded figure, and Baby Yoda. Disney has released the new trailer for season two of The Mandalorian. You expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers? This is the way. This season, Mondo must reunite Baby Yoda with his own kind, which means tracking down the Jedi. The Mandalorian hits Disney Plus October 30th. That's your eye on entertainment. Nichelle Medina, CBS News, Los Angeles.
November 7th is the first ever Kinston Cornhole Classic presented by Pool Realty right here at Granger Stadium. This is going to be a double elimination bracket style tournament with prize money to both the social and the professional winners of this tournament. And we're filling up really quickly, so make sure you guys sign up now at woodtucksbaseball.com. And we are welcoming all spectators, but we do ask that you guys bring three non-perishable food items to donate to Mary's Kitchen. See you guys on November 7th. The following is a ridiculous promotional announcement from Eastern North Carolina CW. Get ready for big laughs because we've assembled the funniest sitcoms of all time for you. Blackish Laugh with Junior and the Twins. The Twins, Jack and Diane, always make me laugh. And Diane is so mean. <laughs> now this priceless masterpiece is yours free. <gasps> There's nothing out there like this collection. Well, Except, I mean, maybe on Netflix or Hulu. Act now and you'll also receive Bob's Burgers absolutely free. I owe you my life. No thanks. I've seen it and I'm not impressed. Whenever I'm hungry for laughs, I just put some Bob's Burgers on and I'm like, all better. It's the media. If you act right now, this set of shows won't set you back a month's salary. You'll get them for free. A collection like this, you just can't put a price on that. The greatest sitcoms of all time on Eastern North Carolina CW. This offer is not available in stores. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode of the East Daily Download. We have had another outfit from Mark where he's wearing his pink, rocking it. Let's see it. Bring it on out. Bring it on out. Bring it on out. There we go. Rocking that pink tie. Again, pink tie, real men wear pink all month long. Right here in the East Daily Download. Five days a week, not the weekends. We're not, we're not doing this on the weekends. No. Technically, we're not even on the air on the weekends, but you know, you get it. You, it's a whole thing. You, know, you can watch on WNCT.com under the download tab. On the weekend, if you on want. On the weekend, that is true. if you, you want. Could. You can. Right. Or, you know how else? Um, now, I feel like I've heard this before. It's something to do with a mobile application? Yes, on the mobile app. <laughs> the WNCT is mobile app. Is that like app. the kids are playing with the TikTok? Oh goodness! Is that what the kids are? The kids are on the. the is that what the kids are doing these is days? Is that the exchange gram where you post it? You post the, the photo either instantaneous or not instantaneous. Oh man! Look up the movie The Internship. It'll make sense. It's great. All right. Well, I think that's gonna just about do it for today. She's you got hungry. anything else? Uh, no. I'm gonna sashay out of here. Uh, have yourself a great rest of the day. Stay classy, Eastern NC. That was terrible. I should never say that again. Okay, you just everybody. go. Have a good one. Tomorrow on the East Daily Download, it's a new Fashion Friday, and Mark will continue his conversation with the American Cancer Society. Plus, we'll have a look back at our live at Whirly Gig stage interviews and performances. That's tomorrow on the East Daily Download from Eastern North Carolina CW.